the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Oh, hello, everybody. It's almost afternoon. It is. It is we, afternoon. It's twelve oh one. It's twelve oh one, and we're somewhere different today, Mr. Dave. We are. Oh, Where we're are now. we? Nope. No, no, I oh, think. We've been, oh, I, okay. Yeah, I thought that too, and then it was like, oh, now we're starting. But we are. I hi. think we're live. But Bob anyway, says hi. Bob says hi. Hi, Bob. He came with us. So um, <laughs> you will recognize that Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee. There we go. <laughs> uh, was here uh, with us last week on our yes, back porch that's right and yeah. now we are up at her house um in drayton valley that's has anybody right. ever been to drayton valley so we're actually at her church in drayton valley mm -hmm. and we came up for a visit and we're going to have a birthday party for kingston another one another, one, another <laughs> birthday party. but you're really here because you're helping them get their I'm, house yes, ready yes they bought a house and so we're yeah we sanded drywall for a little Yay! bit. Yeah, so it was fun. So, do you have anything for us today? A oh, riddle? I have a I have a little riddle today, and uh, my riddle is that I am thinking of something that could get both of you really, really wet. Ooh, ooh. Um, really wet. Hmm. Well. The first thing that I'm thinking about is the log ride at Callaway Park. Oh my goodness, that oh, really that did get was, you wet. I remember so, that. That was my favorite. That's so oh, cute. I wish I was thinking of that, but I'm not thinking yeah. of that. No, okay. I'm thinking of something that Bigger. also is accompanied, like something that accompanied this. What's accompanied mean? Well, <laughs> at the word. same time that okay. you're getting really wet, you might hear something really loud, like big boom sounds and crack sounds in the sky. Yeah. Oh, well, then you're talking about rain. Yeah, yeah. rain. It comes down in droplets, oh. sometimes teeny tiny ones, but sometimes really big ones. It's been I was thinking the ocean. And it's been raining. The ocean would get you wet. Yeah. Yeah. And the rain fills the ocean. And we get a lot of rain in we the do. summer yep. in Alberta, but the farmers are so happy when we get rain because it helps our plants to grow it along does. with the sunshine that we get. So. That's, that was my riddle for today. Thank you, God, for rain. Should we sing a song about rain? Yeah. Kind of about rain. So in the Bible, it tells us about, um, I better quit playing because I can't play and talk at the same time. Um, it, <laughs> talk, it tells us about a wise man and a foolish man. That's right. And um, this is a song that we've done before. And it's called Jesus, I Will Listen to You. And the Bible verse, I think it's in John chapter 5. And it says, um, a wise man and a foolish man built their house, and the wise man built it on a rock, um, and a foolish man built it on the sand. And we all know what happens with sand when the waves come right in the rain. It, like, it washes it away, it moves yeah. it. But if it's on a rock, then it's a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. And the way you build your house, your spiritual house on a rock, is by hearing what Jesus has to say and then doing it and being yeah. obedient to it. Yeah. So if you have older brothers and sisters, you've heard this yeah, song you have. before. We've done it we've one done other it time. Yeah, it goes like this. Hold on for a while. Jesus, I will listen to you. Jesus, I will listen to you. I know every word is true. I know every word is true. I'm going to follow what you say. I'm going to follow what you say. Help me, Jesus, to Help me, Jesus, to obey. I'm going to build my house on a solid rock that won't be swept away. I'm going to build my house on a solid rock. Every word you say. Woo! Jesus, I will listen to you. Jesus, I will I know every word is true. I know every word is true. I'm gonna follow what you say. I'm gonna follow what you say. Help me, Jesus, to obey. Help me, Jesus, to obey. I'm gonna build my house on a solid rock that won't be swept away. I'm gonna build my house on a solid rock Every word you say. Woo! Maybe because.
because we're talking about rain, we should go instead of woo. Gosh. There we go. That's right. But if we hear what you say, if we hear what you say, we don't do what you say, but we don't do what you say. It's like a house on the sand. It's like a house on the sand. When the storm comes, it goes splat. When the storm comes, it goes splat. If we hear what you say, if we hear what you say, but we don't do what you Say. But we don't do what you say. It's like a house on the sand. It's like a house on the sand. But when the storm comes, it goes splat. When the storm comes, it goes splat. Now I don't want to live in a house like that. Now I don't want to live in a house like that. And you don't want to live in a house like that. And you don't want to live in a house like that. No, we don't want to live in a house like that. No, we don't want to live in a house like that. Why would anybody live in a house like that? Why would anybody? live live in a house like that. So, Jesus, I will listen to you. Jesus, I will listen to you. I know every word is true. I know every word is true. I'm going to follow what you say. I'm going to follow what you say. Help me, Jesus, to obey. Help me, Jesus, to obey. I'm going to build my house on a solid rock that won't be swept away. I'm going to build my house on a solid rock, every word you say. Woo! Crash! Crash, lightning, lightning. <laughs> Jesus, I will listen to you. Jesus, I will listen to you. Woo! There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I that like was that. Awesome. I that like that was a lot. Seriously, so awesome. Oh, Bob, Bob, you're a good singer. Yes, you are. <laughs> I know. Okay, here's another one. I mean, we want to do this one about God being powerful and big, bigger and more powerful than the lightning. And the he thunder. is so yeah. big and so mighty and so strong and always with us. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. One more time. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you. All of you! Yeah, that's right. Even you, Bob. Even I like that one too. My... <laughs> I just noticed Bob has a lightning bolt on his shirt. Oh, oh he's, he's dressed perfectly. He for was today. ready he for was today. Ready for today. Good job, Bob. I listen to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> he wore it. He said, Where's my lightning bolt shirt? Um, oh, hi. Okay, keep going. Um, we're going to do our, our memory verse song. Our memory yeah, verse we're song. Do our memory and verse. boys and girls, this memory verse is for this month and for next month. We get to do this one for a full two months, which is kind of nice, because I really like this one. It is yeah. good. Are you ready? I think so. Okay. Uh, okay. John chapter 20, verse 31. 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 It is written. It is written. So that you may believe, so that you may believe, that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God. It is written, it is written, so that you may believe, 
so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God. John chapter 20, verse 31. John chapter 20, verse 31. It is written, it is written, so that you may believe, so that you may believe, that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God. It is written, it is written, so that you may believe, so that you may believe, that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God. John chapter 20, verse 31. John chapter 20, verse 31. Where is it, Bob? John chapter 20, verse 31. John chapter 20, verse 31. Woo! Good job, Bob. You guys. Oh, awesome. man. Live. I think you boys and girls have this by now. And when you do this song, I just hope that that's going deep in your heart. Yeah. Live, live uh, Facebook. You never know what's going to happen on live Facebook. <laughs> you never know. So last week we introduced a new little song that we wrote on our couch a little while ago. Yeah. I think I'm going to go sit in the crowd and walk. <laughs> I'm just going to go sit down and... I'll hold you, Bob. Okay. Here we go. Ready? I lie. I la 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 love you Jesus. How I la 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 You put this smile on my face. You put this song in my heart. You. Love me and I love you, Jesus. You put this smile on my face. You put this song in my heart. You love me and I love you, Jesus. Oh, I la 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 Jesus. And what does he do? You put this smile on my face. You put this song in my heart. You love me and I love you, Jesus. Sing it with us, kids. You put this smile on my face, you put this song in my heart, you love me and I love you, Jesus. La 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 Love you, Jesus. Amen. This is um, the chorus. That might be a new one for you, but it's uh, just a really good song. And we actually sing it in the big house at the church. And maybe you've heard it, maybe your moms and dads have played it at your house. It talks about building our life upon God's love. Let's sing it here.
trust in you alone, and I will not be shaken. Jesus, we thank you that you love us, that you care for us, that you have a plan for our lives. We thank you that your word is truth and that as we read your word and as we obey your word, that it's like we build our lives on a firm foundation. Thank you, Jesus. So would you help us to do that? Would you help us to just to dig into your word, to read the Bible and, and to pray and to hear your Holy Spirit speak to us and then help us to be obedient to that? We thank you so much for your love today. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your presence with us, Jesus, that you're with us all the time. And today we pray for people who are hurting, who really need your presence. Would you bless them? Would you help them to be aware of your presence today? And Jesus, I thank you that you're at work, um, not only in Red Deer, but all over Alberta and all over our country and around the world. And today I want to pray for this church, the church that our daughter Kaylee goes to. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for Life Church in Drayton Valley. And we ask Jesus that you would help us to hear your voice, to be a shining light here in Drayton Valley. Say, continue to tell people about you, Jesus. Say, continue to worship you. Thank you that you're with us all the time. Amen. We want to worship you and praise you today. Mm-hmm. In your name, Jesus, we pray. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Awesome. That was fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bye, guys. See you Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Bye. <laughs>
Well, I have a true story all about how Jesus loves everyone. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. When Jesus was teaching people how to love each other, he had a good friend named Peter. Jesus and Peter spent a lot of time together. Jesus taught Peter about God. Jesus let Peter help do important jobs. They were great friends. Then one night, some angry soldiers came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and said mean things to him. It scared Jesus' friends, so they ran away. But Peter followed Jesus and the angry soldiers. While Peter was waiting to see what would happen, a girl asked him if he was Jesus' friend. Peter was scared, so he said, no. Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. A little while later, another person asked Peter if he was Jesus' friend. And guess what Peter said this time? He said, no. That's two times Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. Then another person asked Peter if he was Jesus' friend. And guess what he said this time? He said, no. That's three times Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. But then Peter saw that Jesus was looking at him. Peter knew saying he was not Jesus' friend was wrong. He felt so bad that he went away and started crying. But wait, that is not the end of the story. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he talked with Peter. Jesus still loved Peter no matter what, even though Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. Do you see someone who loves us no matter what? Look with me, binoculars up. I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Jesus loved Peter and Jesus loves you no matter what. Knowing that Jesus still loved him and that they were still good friends made Peter so happy. From that day on, Peter told everyone that Jesus is God's son. He told them Jesus is alive and wants to be their friend forever. So many people believed in Jesus because of Peter. And guess what? You can believe in Jesus too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves us no matter what. He's the best friend ever for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus loved Peter even though he did something wrong. Jesus loves us too, no matter what. He's the best friend ever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Since Jesus is the best friend ever, let's try spelling out his name too. I wonder if I can find